Hello and welcome to Fernbank Science Center's The Sky this week for the end of August and beginning of September 2021. We start the week with the last quarter moon in the evening sky, late night sky actually, and end with a couple of bright stars from the summer and a bright planet in the west. The last quarter moon, sometimes called the third quarter moon, this year it's on August the 30th, and it's officially, if you look at it carefully, looks like half a moon. The moon has gone three quarters of the way around its orbit from when it was a new moon earlier this month. If you look at that line in between the light and dark sides of the moon, the terminator, that's called sunset line or sunrise line, and look at that with a pair of binoculars, there are all kinds of mountain shadows and crater shadows and pretty things to look at. Technically, 3.15 a.m. is the time of our last quarter moon for August, and you might want to try taking a picture of the moon. Photographing the moon can be a fun hobby. If you have a cell phone, you can get decent pictures. If you have fancy cameras, you can try for those. And some tips on how to photograph the moon are at this website. By the beginning of September, we're losing some of the summertime constellations. They're setting in the west, and we won't see them again until next summer. Looking over toward the western part of the sky, the area where the sun appears to set, and this is looking at a huge area of the sky, all the way from the south horizon to the north horizon. You might be able to pick out that pattern of the Big Dipper, three stars for a handle, two more for a cup, and the two stars on the end, the pointers, point to Polaris, our north star currently. Go back to that handle arc. The handle of the Big Dipper takes you to the bright star Arcturus, exaggeratedly large in this image, and go straight up to the top of this image, another exaggeratedly large, another bright star, Vega or Vega, part of Lyra the Lyre, part of the summer triangle of stars. And in between those two bright ones, there's a roughly H-shaped constellation. H sort of on its side, one arm of the H, other arm of the H, cross arm in between. And this area is the constellation of Hercules, the hero. Come in a little closer, find Vega near the top of the sky and Arcturus near the horizon, or closer anyway, Follow that arc of the Big Dipper's handle. And this area is Hercules. Here's one leg of the H. Here's the other leg or arm. There's the cross piece. And draw off some arms and legs off the torso. And you get mm, roughly Hercules. He's the guy who did all those labors in Greek mythology, <clears throat> a mighty warrior. If you draw in those lines and names, you can see the head of Draco the dragon. Some of those stars are a little bit brighter than the ones in Hercules itself. Hercules is a constellation with no first magnitude stars, no particularly bright ones. But that four-sided half-diamond odd shape there for his torso, right down under one arm, there is an object to look at with a telescope. See if you can figure out where the rest of Hercules is there. You see part of the H? So one long stretch of the H. There's the other side, sideways H. And there's our cross piece. That little cross dot there marks the position of a globular cluster of stars, M13. When Charles Messier was looking for comets years and years ago, he found a lot of things in the sky that were not comets, so he made a list. This is number 13 on his list, the globular cluster in the constellation of Hercules. And globular clusters are, they look like balls of stars, densely packed ball of stars. Gravity is holding them together into roughly a spherical shape, and they're fairly old stars, and they're not particularly bright. None of them as bright as our own sun is. 
There are hundreds of thousands of them packed together by gravity. And they're telescopic objects mostly. If you have a completely dark sky and a really clear sky and you're way out in the country someplace, you might be able to pick out the globular cluster in Hercules with just your eyes, but mostly they're good through little telescopes. If you wanna use just your eyes, find that star Arcturus again, following that arc of the Big Dipper's handle. And in the evening, just after the sun has gone down 30 minutes or so, check over toward the west, that area where the sun appears to set. The really bright star-like object not too far off from the horizon is the planet Venus. And with good eyes right nearby, you can pick out the star Spica. It's the brightest star in the constellation of Virgo. Virgo and Hercules and some of those other southern summertime constellations are drifting along toward the west and will be disappearing soon. Check out Venus, and if you've got a good sky, the 4th or 5th or 6th of September, try out Spica right near Venus. And as always, thank you very much for listening. Please do keep in touch with Fernbank Science Center's website, www.fernbank.edu. Keep track of our Friday night, Friday evening rather, virtual planetarium programs on our Facebook page and have a great week.